to my channel. So you guys see the title of today's video? Ooh, I'm excited. Um, I literally haven't been tattooed. I don't even know how long. Like, look at my last tattoo video. I think it was maybe two years ago. Maybe. So I'm so excited. This is long overdue. Um, I am running a little bit tight on time. So I'm filming this on my phone really quickly. I'm literally parked outside. And let's go in. Let's do this. Today it's gonna be exciting. put numbing on and wrapped it up My for now we're letting it sit and we're gonna it's we're numbing it for like shading and then we're gonna work on other little pieces so going well I think we got like the heart the biggest part like out of the way for now so yeah oh my gosh. looks so good I love it
gosh, you guys. It looks crazier than it is, I swear. But like since I've been moving, this part came undone a little bit. Ugh, jeez. And then we got this wrapped up, this bad boy. I need to undo it. I'm like avoiding it. I'm literally so tired. I got home. I had therapy. Yes, I'm filming on my iPhone. Like, don't come for me. Okay, like, it's been a long ass day. It's literally... <clears throat> what time did we stop? We stopped at, like, 6.30. My eyebrow looks crazy. Like, what the heck is this? Ugh. Yeah. So, basically, like, five and a half hours I was tattooed today. Um, I'm feeling like a badass, obviously, but I'm also super tired. <laughs> I'm an ush. Um, like my makeup is crazy from the mask and I need to eat like I have food waiting <sighs> So I'm gonna eat I'm gonna sleep <laughs> And then I'm gonna check in with you guys um Tomorrow and we'll just talk more about everything and I want to explain About everything what it is what it means da -da 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 -da. All the stuff Also my strap is off because it doesn't feel very good on right now <laughs> So, um, and I showed you that shot of my hip out there too. So yeah, I'm just going to take care of myself and you know, getting tattooed that long is like a lot to go through and like physically, I don't know. I just feel really exhausted. Um, but I'm so happy, like everything better than I could have imagined. And of course I will have all of my artist information below for you guys. Don't worry about that. We'll talk more about it when I see you soon. So I will see you like in two seconds, but in reality, it's my tomorrow, but it's your two seconds. <laughs> Hi you guys. So it is Saturday. Wow, where did this week go? So my tattoo appointment was on Wednesday. So technically I guess we're on like day three after. It's Saturday now. Uh, so things are actually already healing a lot. Like I'm already kind of shedding. So final result, you guys. Oh my gosh, how pretty. I'm literally so obsessed, like. She killed this. She seriously killed it. And of course, like, I'll have other clips too. Um, but yeah, I just think it flows so nice with everything. I thought I would just sit down in my filming room because it's easier and I can just talk with you guys about everything that I got. So um, I guess we'll start with this piece here on my shoulder. This is actually my grandma Pat's. It's her um, birthday and her death date in Roman numerals. So you guys can see that. So pretty. Very sentimental. I'm not gonna lie, like I was pretty emotional. Um, and as you guys saw in the vlog, like so far, I'm just like so exhausted just from that day like it was a lot of needle time it's kind of a lot on your body you know so the longest i've sat before i think was like about three hours so that was um that was a lot i think it was like five and a half roughly and then i guess we'll kind of move on to this piece here she designed this for me almost like two years ago when i got my hand piece we were trying to figure out like i already knew i wanted something to go up here um, so the mandala and roses, peonies, roses are my favorite flower, and peonies are probably like second or third maybe. I just think they're so pretty and like intense and powerful. And then I have DLC, so Daisy Lily Corabelle, those are my three childhood dogs who also passed away. They were like our family pets and they were really near and dear to my heart, a very big like piece of me I would say. Um, of my childhood for sure. Love the way she did these letters, you guys. She literally like free handed them on to me with like, you know, the marker, of course, before she tatted, but they just look so good. And we added this little piece here just to kind of fill the space, kind of like some leaf greenery type vibes. Um, yeah. The other thing we did do was shade around my current like hand piece. I feel like it needs to be closer. For you guys to see you can see we shaded around my um current like my the we shaded around the thing on my wrist can i even talk jesus on the other side is ghosty's paw print i'll put like a clip of a better angle of it because it's really awkward to like try and show you guys her paw print is right here this is her actual paw print that they took at the vet 
um, my cat Ghosty when she passed away. So I do want to get her name. We're trying to decide like if we're going to fit it in here somewhere. Um, just really little. But honestly, you guys, my arm was like over it. Like... <laughs> It was just over it by the time we finished and we're like at that point Then we did my shoulder piece which I didn't get any footage of because I was really just trying to hold super still Um, because it's kind of like an awkward place for her to tattoo just the shape of it and everything I'm sure like if you guys are OGs you kind of know like I had a really close relationship with my grandma Pat um she just means so much to me and it just, yeah, I'm really happy with everything. And like Ghosty too, you know, is a big part of my life. So it was kind of crazy. Like I was talking to Michaela, my artist, about Ghosty, like what exactly happened with her. And I, we were, had already been tattooing me for like three hours. And I, and I started crying because like I was talking about Ghost and it was really like, you know, sad and grieving still. And, um, I just thought, wow, it's so crazy, like, physical pain versus emotional pain and and how that really um, connects to us all differently, so very interesting. I'm super obsessed. I just love this, you guys. I think it's so beautiful. It's healing up really well already. It's already itchy. Definitely. I'm keeping it hydrated. Um, what I use, so I thought I would show you guys the things I use to take care of my tattoos since it's been a minute and some of you may be curious. So this is Hustle Butter um, Deluxe Luxury Tattoo Care before, during, after. This is what it looks like. You can get it on Amazon. I'll see if I can find it and maybe link it. If you're curious, let me know. Actually smells like decent. It kind of has like, I don't even know what you would say it smells like. It says it contains mangoes. This is what Michaela recommends, and this is what I've always used for all my other tattoos to heal, and it's done me well so far, so love this. And then the other thing is just foam soap, you guys. You want to try to get, like, um, it needs to be antibacterial, and if you can get unscented, that's the best. This, I think, might have a light fragrance in it. It was, I don't know if I was able to find totally unscented. This is, like, like spring water or something I'm like mm, it's gotta be the close I can get basically using foam soap is just gentler it doesn't really like get in kind of like the cracks and crevices of your tattoos as they're healing so it's actually really um, helpful and the best thing as well both of these things again my artist recommends these are both of the things I've always used so antibacterial foaming unscented soap hustle butter dream team here. I wanted to show you guys my hip piece. I'm so excited. Let me tell you though, I was thinking that this was going to hurt the most out of everything. Um, I have to say around here and my hip for sure you guys like, oh wow. And Michaela had told me, she was like, I don't know girl, like your hip is going to be ouchy. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's see if I can show you guys. Here we are see it from here from here so cute so this says just let it be beautiful and I love the placement that we did of this I feel like it makes the rest it just goes really nicely with the rest of my body it like lines up well you can still see it kind of from the front Hi, um, brief intermission interruption I don't know what you want to call it but I'm literally watching this it's a hair on me I'm watching this footage back and I realized like I didn't even explain my just let it be beautiful not that I like have to but I just um I did want to include the fact that it is actually something that like came to me um in a very like spiritual and like meditative state and what it means to me is really just like embracing the surrender of your journey wherever you're at and just kind of like letting it flow letting it be letting it exist let things be beautiful so yeah it, it means a lot to me i thought i should put that in here so yeah back to fresh air <laughs> sentimental tattoos some memorial tattoos um i'm officially part of the half sleeve club or whatever <laughs> i'm pretty sure you guys can guess where this is going like what's happening next it's been so long since i got since i've been tattooed and it was so nice to see michaela like i'm telling you guys if you are in the michigan area 
um, if you're just in the state of Michigan, check her out. I will have all her information below. She is booked out until I think like June right now. And if that doesn't tell you how good she is, I mean, come on. Um, she just has the most beautiful energy and she's just a really wonderful person and I'm really lucky to have her as a friend and a tattoo artist, so. Comment below which of my new tattoos is your favorite and comment below what I should get next as a tattoo. I'm literally already thinking of like my next ones I want to get. I already have a few in my head, but... <laughs> It's so addicting you guys like it all started with this one little one right here. So Yeah, so if you are not already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It honestly helps me out so much It really does support me as a creator um, And it's one of the biggest things you can do for you girl as always Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys